Good morning. I'm Mike Neundorfer, Class B motorhome owner and designer. I'm here this morning to share a few ideas about how to select a motorhome. A motorhome purchase is a serious and exhilarating experience. It's important to be able to either design or find a motorhome that matches the way you want to travel. So one way to do that is to divide the activities that you're going to do in the motorhome into times of the day. I know there are many people that purchase motorhomes without ever deploying the bed and trying it out. And if you're going to be traveling and sleeping with uh, either a two-legged or four-legged travel companion, it's important to make sure that the bed's comfortable, it's big enough, it's easy enough to get out of for access to go to the bathroom at night, and it is simply deployable. Try out the bed, that's an important part. How long does it take to go from driving to eating, or from driving to sleeping? How long does it take to set up the bed? Do you have to move a bunch of pillows around? Do you have to move things off of the bed? Can you leave the bed in a situation where it's very easy to go from driving to sleeping. And then the next thing is from sleeping to driving. How long does it take to heat the water? Is there enough hot water for two showers? Food, is it easy to prep the food? Do you have a place to prep the food? So getting from sleeping to driving is a consideration. I don't uh, tell Marsha, my travel companion often, but sometimes I time us. How quick can we go from sleeping to driving? And I think our best time was about 11 minutes. That's a pretty pretty quick turnaround. Usually we uh, lounge a bit more. But the transitions are important. And most of us drive four to six or more hours a day in the motorhome. The most important thing probably is the seat. How comfortable is the seat? Is there adjustment for everybody that's going to be driving, you and your partner? Another important part of the driving experience, of course, is handling. Marsh and I were in Oklahoma and met up with some friends who had a Class C. They were amazed at the difference in the visibility and the, and the driving and the passenger experience because of the view. And just being another foot or two higher makes a, a tremendous difference in view. It's really important to either test drive or better to rent a motorhome to make sure it meets those needs. Who's gonna travel with you? Space for travel partners and pets is really important. Is there a safe place for the pets and your passengers to ride? Is there plenty of space for them when you stop to sleep and also eat and do whatever other activities you have in the motorhome? How do you want to eat when you travel? Uh, do you want to take your food? Do you have dietary uh, restrictions? In that case, you'll want a large refrigerator and probably a fairly large freezer so that you can take food that will last two or three weeks. And then food preparation is important. Are you going to need a microwave? Will you use a convective microwave if, if you have it? What kind of hot plates will you use? Do you have coffee every morning? Do you want to build in coffee maker? The other part of food is, where do you eat? Is there going to be a comfortable place uh, where you can set up a table or, or stand eating? A lot of times after we're traveling all day and sitting, it feels pretty good to stand up and eat at the counter. Is there room at the counter? to both prepare and uh, eat a meal. Some folks never eat in the motorhome. In those cases, if they're designing their own, they may want a really small refrigerator for a few drinks and not worry about the space for a bigger refrigerator or a large counter. If you want to wash dishes, is the sink big enough to wash dishes? Is it deep enough? Can you leave dishes in from meal to meal uh, and do them all in the evening? Small things, but they make a big difference in how you travel. With the bathroom, is it generally big enough? Can you turn around? What if you drop the soap in the shower? Can you actually get it without turning off the shower, going out in the hall, getting on your knees and picking up the soap? Uh, is the toilet uh, seat height right? If you're designing it yourself, you have some flexibility around these things. Do you want a sink in the bathroom? Some people absolutely want a sink there. They don't want to wash their hands in the, in the kitchen sink. Others, doesn't matter so much. If you don't have a sink, you eliminate some plumbing and you have a lot more space in the bathroom. Are there ways to get a little bit of extension in the bathroom up above for your shoulders? It's really important to get in the bathroom, try it out, sit on the, on the stool, uh, 
pretend you're showering. The better way to approach it is to actually rent a home similar and take the showers and, and use it in all, all facets and make sure that it meets your needs. The key here is to think about how you're going to travel, divide your day by activities, and then think of how the motorhome is going to serve each of those activities. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for listening. <laughs>